Hey everybody, this is going to be an unboxing and I forgot which one this is so let's go ahead and open it. I'm not sure if this is the inverter or if it's the uh, um, it might be the charge controller. Okay, it's definitely the charge controller because I think the inverter will come in a different box. It says Wandum or whatever. I think they just used a random box. But anyway. Okay, let's get this open. I got this on eBay after much research on YouTube and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Aha! It's the charge controller! Let's see if I can... Okay. It's nicely packed. Wow. This is amazing. So it says, or this is the um, EP, made by EP Solar. It's a tracer. 3215 BN. Um, I got this one. I think it, they said it was the newest version. Um, it says peak conversion efficiency of 97%, high tracking efficiency of 99%, um, several seconds tracking speed very fast, sweeping of the entire. IV curve, four stage charge with MPPT output, extensive electronic protection, <laughs> diverse load control, monitor and set parameters, and blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. And it says need more help. They have, I guess, a helpline. But yeah, this is the 30 amp. There it is right there. So I think 30 amps is pretty much all I'll need. Because I have a 280 watt panel. Okay, cool. There's a certificate. It says Q quality check um, pass. So that's cool. Here's the manual, which is good quality. And it's packed really well with this foam. Okay. Awesome. Now, I'm not really an expert. I'm actually just a beginner in all this solar stuff. But to me, this feels very good quality. It smells like leather and electronics. <laughs> Um, yeah, so this is going to be, it states the, um, parameters on the side there. Uh, let's see. Cool. So up to 390 watts I could put into this thing, but 
I'm probably just gonna do the Two hundred and eighty watt panel. Output current max output current is twenty amps, so that's the max it can spit into my batteries. Cool. So it's pretty neat. Very large. So I could put uh, large gauge wires there. And I could get a temp control to go there. Pretty neat. And I noticed, I guess this is a ground, a ground uh, screw. So that's pretty cool. I'll put this over here. I think this is the remote. So I don't have to look at that. Well, you know, since this doesn't have a screen or anything, that's one of the re other reasons I bought it, because since I got the controller or the remote, um, I didn't need the one with the screen on it. So that's pretty cool. So I think this is, yeah, this is definitely the remote. Wow, they, pick, they packed this really good. Okay, I see. Oh, okay, there we go. Ta da! Anything in there? And they have another QR scan code. Remote meter. Cool. Another certificate for this. I guess I'll put that in. Another instruction manual, which I'll need because I have no idea how to use this. Cool. So you got... I'm sure you guys seen plenty of these. I'm so excited. But yeah, just the same. And wow, it's definitely bigger than what I've seen on other channels. So that's it in my hand right there. Wow, that is so cool. So it comes with the mounting hardware and the line that goes into here. So amazing. So yeah, that's my unboxing. I'll do um, a video on me hooking it up and stuff like that, but I still have quite a bit to do on my camper before I get to this. I think the roof and the pop-up and the solar is going to be one of the last things that I do in this camper. Um, when I think of the roof, I just get anxiety because I just, I don't want to do it wrong. I don't want it to go flying off on the road. I, I just get scared that I'm not going to do something right, but anyway, so here's my little unboxing, and I'll let you guys know, well, I already said that, I'll show you guys when I install it later, but I'm waiting on an inverter to come from eBay as well, and I didn't skimp on these things, you know, I didn't want to buy something super cheap that's going to fall apart on me, because this is my first time, I'm a newbie at all this. So I just wanted things to be a good quality. Um, so I didn't skimp, but I also didn't pay overpay. 
because I know some eBayers out there, they're like, oh, people who don't know a thing about this, they're, they're going to think that this is, since this is expensive, that it probably is of good quality and it's actually not. And so I did a lot of research before I bought these items. So anyways, I'll show you the un inverter boxing when I get it. Thanks. And I'll show you a little bit of the trailer. <clears throat> There's the inside. I put up some insulation on that side and up front. I just need to insulate that side. And I just have a tarp up here and ugh, the roof, it's gonna give me anxiety. Um, I was, I had these on the roof, right? And they kind of got bowed from the tarp pulling down on them. And then also, you know, it discolored. I don't know if that's mildew or I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Can I use this for the roof or what do I have to do if it does that? Because I guess water seeped into it and the tarp kept it in. Also, I did my door. Yes, it is yellow and it makes me smile. And I used gray stain right there. And I love the hardware. And also, my shutters. They're going to go um, next to my windows. I made these. And I was very proud of myself for making these. I love them. And I put the gray stain on them as well. So yeah, thanks for watching.